what criteria did you use to evaluate potential investors in your business? Uh, the ones that would write us a check? <laughs> <laughs> um, no, it's, it's obviously much more complicated than that. The, we've only done two rounds of funding. We did, a, we did a seed round in 2004 when it was just me on my own. And then we did a, a, a Series A um, venture round in 2006, and that's it. Um, the, you know, I, I, I started in this business with um, no experience at all. I was 26. It was my first uh, company that I'd ever run. Um, and I asked my dad, I mean, I had no, who, who do you speak to? I asked my dad, okay. you know, um, I really need to raise some money for this idea that I've got. I want to turn it into a business. Who should I speak to? And my, my seed investor was actually my dad's business partner's neighbor's friend. Makes sense right. to me. Yeah. So there was no logical path that could say, you know, this, this is the guy you've got to speak to. It was a very random connection. If you whiteboarded that one out before, <laughs> yeah, yeah, then you're yeah. a very strange man. Yeah. So uh, yeah, <laughs> I must find someone's neighbor's friend. Um, so uh, I actually met um, Robin, who's actually still our, ch our chairman today and has been with the business for, for nearly seven years. So I met Robin uh, early one morning, went to visit him in his offices. And he just completely got what we were trying to do and, and he believed in me and has continued to do so over these last seven years and has backed me as an individual, has backed my team and, and has helped us get to where we are today. So, I mean, he picked us, we picked him, um, but it, it's really been an amazing relationship over the last sort of seven years. But I think it, what anyone should look for an investor is someone who gets you, understands what you're trying to achieve. I think also look for people who are going to be there and, and be good in the bad times as well as the good times. And I think that's been um, demonstrated many times with, with Robin in that relationship with me uh, and with the company. Um, when it came to doing our Series A round, Robin had a relationship with several VCs. Uh, he's a very active angel investor in, in the British kind of London startup scene, technology scene. Um, and we met with a few Atlas Venture and Index Ventures. Um, and again, they, they, they liked what we were doing. They, they bought the, the vision of where we were going. Um, it's, it's hard to tell sometimes what those guys are going to be like. Um, but in, in retrospect, they've been absolutely amazing contributors to the business and have always supported the decisions that we've made. They, they've, they've helped be incredibly insightful into the business model and the grand vision of things and with recruiting and stuff. And they've been there in the good times and they've been there in the bad times and have been supportive in both, in both kind of, of those scenarios. So I don't know if there's some strict formula. We, we went with people who gave us a great valuation. We went with people that we liked. I don't think we would take money from people that, that um, had negative reviews. We obviously referenced you know, these guys. And they've been amazing, you know, kind of, um, you know, they're much more than just investors. They're much more than just people who give us money. They're, they always come to board meetings. Um, they're an incredible support network for us. So uh, we're very lucky, very, very lucky and very happy to have them as our, as our investors.